Hey guys, so today what we're going to do is talk about coordinate geometry proofs, and I know proofs are something that you are probably either loving or you're absolutely scared of, but basically in terms of a proof, we're not actually going to be doing it like we have in the past with two columns. Instead, a coordinate geometry proof involves strictly numbers. So let's take a look at this example. Um, quadrilateral ABCD, A is negative 3, negative 2 right there. Um, B is negative 1, 2. C is 1, 1. And D is negative 1, negative 3. Okay. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to plot all these points and then you're going to basically create the shape that you need to. Okay. That's step one. Okay. Now, the key thing is, we need to prove that this is a rectangle and not a square. This is a two-part proof, basically. So, the easiest way to do these coordinate geometry proofs, I know that some people think that you, you can memorize all the different rules and you can just apply it to one... Uh, to certain different situations but for me personally the easiest thing to do is to find the length and the slope of every single side if you remember slope is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 and distance or length is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus x, I'm oh sorry, y2 minus y1 squared. So we're going to apply that formula to every single point here. So let's take a look. Let's first start with slope. Now slope, we're going to do it first, let's start with AB. AB is going to be Let's just take a look at the numbers. We have negative 2 minus 2 all over negative 3 minus negative 1. And that's going to, we have two negatives, we can make that positive. It becomes negative 4 over negative 2, which is just equal to 2. Now the slope of BC is equal to, take the difference of the y's, so I have to do 2 minus 1 all over negative 1 minus 1. And that's going to be equal to 1 over negative 2, which is equal to negative 1 half. Let's do cd. cd is going to be 1 minus negative 1, Oops, sorry about that, <laughs> 1 minus negative 3 all over 1 minus negative 1. I have two negatives so they become positive and I end up getting 4 over 2 which is equal to 2. Now for DE, uh, sorry DA, we're going to do negative 1 minus negative 3 and once again I did it wrong <laughs> uh, negative 3 minus negative 2 all over negative 1 minus negative 3. Oh, sorry about that. We have the pluses again. So this ends up becoming negative 1 all over 2, which is equal to negative 1 half. Okay. Now, for the distance, let's do the same thing. AB. Now, we could do the square root of, remember we take the difference of the x values, so it's going to be negative 2 
squared plus negative 4 squared. Now, how did I do that really quickly? You notice over here, we already did the differences between the x values and the differences of the y's. So I can just sort of plug in the numbers here, negative 2 and negative 4. Now, that's going to be equal to radical 4 plus 16, which equals radical 20. And you can leave it in radical form. Now, let's take a look at BC. BC is going to be negative 2 squared plus 1 squared. And that's going to be equal to radical 4 plus 1, which equals radical 5. Now, let's take a look at CD. CD is going to be equal to 4 squared plus 2 squared, which equals radical 16 plus radical 4, which equals radical 20. And then finally, DA is equal to radical or 2 squared plus negative 1 squared, which equals radical 5. Okay. Wow, a lot of work to do for this. But however, once you do this, you're basically done. So one thing we need to look at, to prove that it's a rectangle, we need all the consecutive sides to be negative reciprocals of each other. And if they're negative, the slopes to be negative reciprocals, because if that's the case, then they are perpendicular to each other. But what I can say is that AB is perpendicular to BC. And the reason for that is because 2, which we can create as 2 over 1, you flip it, it becomes 1 over 2, and negate it, it becomes negative 1 over 2. So therefore, I can say that AB is perpendicular to BC. I can say BC is perpendicular to CD. CD is perpendicular to DA. And DA is perpendicular to AB. And the reason is because... The slopes are negative reciprocals. Oops, pull this up a little bit. Of one another. Okay, so now. We know that all the sides are, all the consecutive sides are perpendicular to each other. So now what we can say is that ABCD is a rectangle because all consecutive sides are perpendicular. Him. So now, we're done with the first part. Now on the reading exam, this could be about four credits, four to six credits. Especially if they ask about it's not a shape, it's probably going to be enough additional two credits. You need to make sure that you explain why is it in detail, why is it a rectangle, and then why is it not a square. Now the thing about a square is that it, the length of each line segment is congruent. So therefore, we can say that AB, the length of AB is not equal to the length of BC because AB is radical 20 and BC is radical 5. We can see this in the diagram, but they want you to back it up with some good information. So all you have to say is AB is not congruent to BC. And the reason, and so therefore, ABCD is not a square. Because not all sides are equal. That's the only information. We could say once again that BC is not congruent to CD and CD is not congruent to AD, but we only need one example of a side not being equal. Okay? Sorry that was a little long and tedious, but it's necessary. Um, and sorry, I ran out of room and it's right really neatly, but anyway, so take a look at this problem. I want you to practice this one on your own 
Basically, it's another coordinate geometry. You just have to prove that it's a rhombus and not a square. Now, to show it's a rhombus, you have to show that all the sides are equal to each other. And then for a square, to show that it's not a square, instead of showing that the sides are not equal, to show that one side is not perpendicular. Anyway, try out that problem. Um, if you want a copy of this, you can just go to the link below in the, um, in the information section, and you can just print one out yourself. Um, otherwise, you can do this on paper, and I will see you all tomorrow. So later. Bye-bye.